I'm actually kind of shook at the fact that people spend so much money on this. That is so dodgy. This is such a scam. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we have yet another testing a fake eBay designer kind of video. These videos are honestly like my favorite videos to do ever, just because I really like the look of designer items, but I'm never really one to actually spend my money on the real thing. And it's really interesting to see what you actually buy versus what you actually get. I've sort of explained my mentality behind buying fake designer items over on my video where I traveled to Hong Kong to visit a fake designer market. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it in the eye. Honestly, it was such an interesting experience actually seeing, you know, the market in Hong Kong and seeing the items as they sort of come firsthand from the location that they are produced. That video was such an interesting experience and I honestly feel like everyone should go watch it if you are into and interested in sort of like fake designer goods. But for today's video, I'm gonna be testing out a bunch of different fake designer items that I purchased on eBay. Now, eBay is quite notorious for selling a lot of different fake designer items such as bags, belts, t-shirts, handbags, all that sort of stuff. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a little while, you'll know that I'm always out for a bargain. So if I can find a fake Louis Vuitton and not have to pay like thousands of pounds, I will take that. If you guys are brand new here, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to our little dinosaur family. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you subscribe down below. We have just hit 3,700,000 subscribers and I am so over the moon. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. I appreciate you to the moon and back. But if you guys wanna see what I picked up from eBay, Bay, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so the first item we have is this right here. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a bag from what I can feel in the packet. Ooh, look at this, wow. This is actually really looking quite promising. So this is what the bag looks like. And I've gotta say, from a first sort of glance, this looks very legit. Oh my God. This looks like really nice quality. I'm actually kind of surprised, because to be honest, from the photo that I saw on eBay, I was like, okay, it kind of looks legit, but I had no clue what sort of quality it would be like, and if it would look anything like the photos, but I've gotta say, comparing it to the photo on the listing, it looks identical. So basically, this is a messenger style sort of bag. The pattern of this bag is supposed to look like the very classic Louis Vuitton checkered sort of pattern. Admittedly, it doesn't have Louis Vuitton written on any of the like the squares of this pattern, which is what authentic Louis Vuitton bags usually have. But at the end of the day, we only paid 13 pounds for this. So I wasn't really expecting like everything to look very authentic, if you know what I mean. So first things first, when it comes to this bag, what I wanna comment about is the clasp. The clasp is very, very well made. It actually feels very sturdy. Like the actual metal doesn't look like it's really cheap or anything. Then as you open up the bag, you sort of have like this faux suede lining on the top. Then on the inside, Inside, this is what it looks like. It's got quite a few different compartments and some wrapping paper inside. The actual strap of this bag seems very nice quality. I've got to say, with some bags that I've purchased in the past off of eBay that are fake, I definitely find that the metal straps are usually very bad quality and they literally weigh nothing. But this one is really well made. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. So once you close the bag, this is kind of what it looks like. And I've got to say, I'm actually really, really liking this. I feel like the quality feels very similar to what an original Louis Vuitton bag would feel like on the outside to be honest. I mean, it definitely doesn't have the weight, but the actual like canvas material, I mean it feels just like the real thing. I do own a real Louis Vuitton canvas wallet and it feels exactly like this. There's literally no difference because it is just a canvas. I'm actually kind of shook at the fact that people spend so much money on this. You can actually just get this on eBay for like a fraction of the price and it gives you the same kind of look. I mean I know that people are paying for like the authenticity of the brand and whatnot, but if you can get it for literally 13 pounds versus thousands of pounds which one are you gonna go for? Cause I know what I'd choose. Okay, so the next item is this one right here. Now this is supposed to be like a Gucci sort of round bag. This actually cost me £6.66, which is like 666, the devil's number. So I don't really know how to feel about that, but let's have a little look up close at what the bag actually looks like. Okay, so this is it. It looks very misshaped and 
It just looks like it's been squished in the post. So it comes with a really long faux leather strap so you could wear this as like a crossbody bag. And the only thing I have to say about the strap is the fact that, you know, it's kind of attached to the backside of the bag rather than in the center, which means that the bag sort of leans forward as you sort of hold it up, which kind of sucks because if you have some weight in the bag, I feel like it's gonna go forward even more like this. Okay, so now that I looked up close at this bag, I realized that on the pattern of of the you know supposed Gucci sort of logo it doesn't say GG it actually says GD which is actually such a scam I honestly don't even know how they get away with stuff like this just changing one letter it means that they can actually sell this which is actually ridiculous as much as I like creating these videos I always feel really bad for the brand because they are technically just getting ripped off like they literally just steal their designs and they make it into their own and somehow that's okay to sell on to be honest I have quite conflicted in opinions about fake designer stuff. As much as I like it, I do also feel bad for the brands. But at the same time, I appreciate the fact that fake designer is available to people who don't have the funds or want to spend the amount of money that the real thing costs, but they still want the same sort of look. But when it comes to seeing things like this and them changing like one little thing and getting away with it, it's like, that is so dodgy. This is such a scam. But if we're strictly speaking about whether this is a good replica or not, I'm gonna have to say no. It is literally like a two out of 10 for me. Now the next item is this one right here. So this is actually an article of clothing. I've got to say out of all of my videos that I've done on this channel, I don't usually ever try like tops, dresses or trousers that are fake designer. So I thought I would pick this one up for a change and see what this is gonna be like. So here is a photo of the original listing. It's basically like a Gucci sort of inspired dress. It's kind of like a hoodie style dress. It's very relaxed. Okay, so this is it. And and I've got to say, so far, it definitely looks like something that I actually would see Gucci create. It's kind of like a high neck sort of situation and then it's got a little white zipper that goes all the way down. And then the rest of it is basically like the Gucci sort of symbol. It is a long sleeve one, which is quite interesting. Now that I'm holding it in person, it definitely looks quite cheap. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but the color of this, I feel like if this was real Gucci fabric, it would be a lot less like bright and colorful. I feel like the actual orange would be more of a toned down brown or nude. I guess let's just try it on and see how this actually fits. So this is what the dress looks like on. I actually quite like it. I don't know why I thought this was gonna be awful because it fits quite nicely. I mean, the top half is definitely like my favorite part. I feel like the dress is quite a baggy one and obviously that's kind of the style of it but I don't know if it's really doing all that much for like the shape of my body if you know what I mean. What I'm trying to say is is that it's not very flattering. I think you definitely need some kind of belt to like cinch it in and then it would look kind of cute. Literally if I just added something to kind of cinch me in at the waist, obviously not this belt, it doesn't go whatsoever because like the patterns are just clashing too much but as you can see, with a belt, it instantly looks a lot better. However, with the belt, it does make it a lot shorter, so it is kind of more like a mini dress. But apart from that, I actually kind of like the style and the aesthetic of it. Now, in terms of authenticity, does it look authentic? Hell no, you can tell that it's not authentic and that's a fake, but I actually don't really mind that. I still think it's actually really cute. I think I'm gonna give this like an eight out of 10. Okay, so now the next item is yet another bag. From what I can see in the packet, it's another Louis Vuitton bag. This one I just had to get because it is so small and so cute. And again, I'm not 100% sure if Louis Vuitton create a bag this small. I'm pretty sure they do. But to be honest, I haven't done my research, so I will definitely pop a photo of the real thing if I can find one. But this is what it looks like and oh my my god it is actually adorable so this bag cost me 11 pounds let me just get all the wrapping off so you guys can see it fully so this is what the bag looks like fully it is actually so freaking cute it comes with a long strap as well it's even got like a little fake name tag I don't know if the real thing would come with something like this but this is actually so cute and as you open it up this is what it looks like inside even though it's very small it's actually really spacious on the inside I feel like I could definitely fit a lot in here.
there. Now, when it comes to the actual quality of it, I love the pattern of the bag. This is like my favorite Louis Vuitton pattern, just like the simple checkered thing that they have going on. And again, this bag does not have any sort of like Louis Vuitton markings on any of the hardware or even in the squares of the checkered pattern. So in terms of replicas, this definitely doesn't look like the most authentic replica that you could get. Overall, I've got to say, I think it's a really cute bag. I might just be sold by the fact that it's so little and so adorable, but I think I'm going to give this like a seven out of 10. Now, the very last item is another item of clothing. Now, I thought I would pick up a fake Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt off of eBay, and this is what has arrived. I've got to say, looking at the original on my laptop, this looks very much legit. It looks exactly like the real thing. I'm pretty sure I picked up a very similar t-shirt to this in Bali when I went to a fake designer market there. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll also link it in the eye right there. But I thought I'd just compare it and I'm pretty sure it looks exactly the same. I'm very, very certain that some of these items are probably made by like the same manufacturer in China and they just get, you know, imported to all these different retailers. But yeah, the low the logo of the Tommy Hilfiger feels like it's printed on quite well onto the t-shirt. I feel like it won't come off after like one wash. And then the actual fabric of the t-shirt is like simple t-shirt fabric. It's not really amazing quality, but it's also not bad. It's kind of just like standard t-shirt quality. So let's just try this on and see how this actually fits. Okay, so this is what the top looks like on. And I've got to say, I actually feel like if I was walking down the street, I don't think anyone could actually tell that this was a fake Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt. Just because it is such a simple and plain t-shirt, all there really is to it is the Tommy Hilfiger logo that's sort of printed on the chest and it looks very, very realistic. So I feel like no one would know. I've also put the t-shirt in a little knot. This is how I usually would style my t-shirts. But if you guys wanna see how it actually looks, this is like the sort of length. So you could wear it like this or you could tuck it into your jeans. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with this t-shirt. I think I'm gonna give it like a nine out of 10. So those are all of the fake designer items that I'm gonna try out for you guys today from eBay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, I wanna put out a quick disclaimer to say, obviously I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy fake designer. If it's something you wanna do, then go ahead. But I'm not sitting here to say like it's better than the original. In terms of pricing, it definitely is. I mean, it's like a fraction of the price of the real thing, but I'm sure the quality in the long run is not going to be anywhere near as good as the original item just because, you know, it is so cheap to make these. So in the long run, it's really up to you what you do with your money. I just thought I'd try these things out for you guys. If you guys ever wondered what these fake designer items look like in person after you see them on eBay, then I hope this video was definitely helpful to you. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down below and give this video a massive thumbs up. Also, if you guys have any other video suggestions you would like to see, from me on this channel then let me know down below as well but that is all from me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye mm.